So as I'm walking along out here, doing something that, believe it or not, is rather new to me. As I first started as an artist, I can remember being four, probably four years old, painting my first painting with tempera paints and using really bright and vivid colors because that's what we had, you know, primary colors, but also pink. And I, gosh, I always wanted to be an artist. That's what I've always wanted to do. And you could say that I've struggled with it for my entire life pretty soon. I'm going to be 56. So if you look at the math, it's really been pretty much my entire life that I've wanted to express myself with art or that's where, you know, that's where, where I felt comfortable in life with whatever it was I was experiencing, I guess, art was just this natural form of communication. Though I didn't have a lot of trouble with communication, I ask a lot of questions and, you know, I'm talking when I'm four or five years old. But when I'm uh, out here, there's a way that, that I feel when I'm walking out here that I'm trying to learn after all these years how to express this feeling, this emotion, what arises here as I'm walking out here. I mean, it takes me about two minutes to walk out here. This is my backyard. This is um, part of the Coconino National Forest. It's uh, 1.8 odd million acres of land like this, which is, it's just spectacular. And this uh, beautiful cinder cone here, I call her Rosie. That's my nickname for her. And this is a extinct volcano out behind the house and we have all kinds of animals out here rarely seen any of them but we do have a lot we have mountain lion that live out here and i've seen a lot of javelina and rabbits and there goes a dove there she goes or he usually where there's one there's two 